this is what I've been looking at from the satellite now for, for weeks. This is it. What is it doing here in the middle of nowhere? Andrew looks for further clues in the satellite images. There are a number of holy sites in the area. Half a mile away lie the ruins of an ancient abbey, last refuge of a secretive 12th century Christian sect known as the White Canons. In the shadow of Shap Abbey, Andrew finds two craftsmen. Gentlemen, hi. How are you? They're using historic building techniques to patch up buildings that go back to the 13th century. Limestone would get broken up into small bits. Yeah. And it would make a lime kiln and build a fire. Right. And burn the stone. Lime kilns existed in the earliest human civilizations. Masons used them to perform a kind of alchemy in which intense heat turned limestone into a substance known as quicklime, used for construction and also as a weapon of war. The heat of the fire would go to about 900 degrees right. for, for 36 hours. When it comes down to there, it's known as quicklime. When you add the water to it, you'll see a very quick reaction. Pretty instant. Yes. The craftsmen have provided the clue. The likely purpose of the structure becomes clear. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's not an ancient sacred site. It's a lime kiln. The crash-like scar in front of the kiln was probably a ramp for moving heavy limestone. The masons who built and operated kilns like this belonged to guilds that guarded their secrets closely and claimed secret knowledge from Egypt and biblical times. When it comes to actually making quicklime, not everyone would have known how to do this. There would have been keepers of the chemistry, alchemists who were in charge. Quicklime was used in the construction of large monumental buildings, and it's no coincidence that very close to this site is a large abbey church. The secret knowledge of the Masons, considered magic at the time, was based on centuries of experience. Their quicklime was so effective, it allowed some of the greatest architectural wonders of the world to remain standing for centuries. Look how solid. Look how secure this wall is 800 years later. What's really sad is the rest of the place is in ruins. The abbey is ruined, not because it was badly built, but because of the historic assault on the monasteries by England's first Protestant king, Henry VIII. But quicklime also had a darker use. 